Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Adult Babies Podcast, episode 310. I am B. I'm Ryan. And ladies and gentlemen, we got no chick again. What? But what we do have is one of my favorite humans in the whole world, Andrew Bergen. Hey. Wow. He's out of the darkness. That's out of a... the darkness, into the light. One of my favorites. No, I wasn't take I didn't take offense of it. Just at a, a statement alone, it's a it's a bold statement. Well, so. he is. He is. I mean, not a more likable person. Um, who's guy. more likable? I don't I've spent, you know, a little time with him, but the little time that I spent with you, I'm always like, this guy's great. No, because he's sucking up to you because he's looking at your record collection. <laughs> he's telling you about cool bands that but I don't this, understand. I'm talking about, you know, we've done some mics yeah. together. We've hung out with Neil's uh Yeah. We uh we've both done podcasts with the word beef in it. Yeah. Oh, want beef. The word beef in it. Yeah, he had want too. beef and I had beef with blue cheese. Oh my god. Yeah. And I eventually took that podcast over with uh, with Jody Bubble Soap at yeah. one point. Remember? <laughs> I remember. At one point, you were like, "Are you ever going to be on your podcast again?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Thank the, you. It's, ah. it's it's been a while since Bergen more, has been in front flexible. of a microphone. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm not as familiar anymore. Yeah, Neil had had moved to Oklahoma, and and Andrew just stopped doing uh, recording it, and Neil was one day was like. Uh, Go to Jody's house and talk about food with her. Yeah. So I'd show up on my day off, and and Jody would just give me donuts and like all this, and it was fun. Bacon. And then eventually we were like, "All right, what are we doing here?" And uh, and that's it. Yeah. Uh oh, he's formatting again. You know what's not good about you not being in the power chair? Nothing. It's great. No, no, no. But you keep knocking stuff over. That's that's true. You're you're not. Oh, you pulled out. Oh yeah, you pulled something here. out. Huh? You pulled out a I thing. Did. One of your inputs. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we're all right. I'm never sitting in this chair again. No, it's actually it's better that way. I just you're we're uh, that was bothering you the little mic the yeah. the yeah. all right. Uh oh, something else is bothering something you. Something else does. What is it now? Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. It's being yeah, handled. It's, we'll take care of it. If Chick was here, he'd be yelling at me because I, I, I often. Uh, point out what's going wrong you know yeah but that's fine that's who i am i did it last night by the way i got on stage for the first time in a long time last night yeah felt good felt good to get Where it are out. you industry uh dan wilbur runs a show out there um a lot that, that place is so great have you been there uh i don't think so no you would really like it yeah very cool vibe if okay. i may use that word um how would you explain it I've never been there. Okay. <laughs> it's it's like they have so many it's like a bar but also an art space and they have just a bunch of cool things and yeah. tchotchkes uh -huh. all around. It's just set up very nice. Is there okay. one example of one tchotchke that you could give? There is a really cool David Bowie picture on the left side of the stage. Um but yeah, I felt I was I, I haven't gone up in in a while, and I felt a little nervous. And uh, I definitely there was like a little lag with like like do I remember how to say this right? Um, but I think it came. It was all right. And then I got off stage. Some lady hands me twenty bucks. How about that? Twenty bucks. Did you park her car after? <laughs> <laughs> Last night she was like she was like you were so funny. You were very funny. Here, just, it's twenty bucks. She she just moved here from Howard Beach. She said, and uh, I guess that's how they do things out there. That's, that's but then today I'm like, maybe she gave me twenty bucks because she felt bad for me. She's like, this kid needs it. What was your content like? If you could just like bullet point it. My content? Yeah, like were you like I'm sad and I'm fat and I, I had some of those normal set. Yeah, normal. Yeah. Um, you know, spotted lantern flies. I didn't I didn't do anything. Uh, Crazy new. Nothing too racy. Nothing too racy. If you haven't been on stage while, you want to, you know, I want make sure to you get that rust off. I want off to first. get the rust off, and yeah. I felt good about it. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a fun night. Um, so that's my story. Great. Yeah. How you guys been? Good. Uh, I went to to uh, Kelpie's open mic. At, oh, you what, did Squarehead Brewery on on your birthday, <sighs> and uh, I guess she was. She thought maybe you would show up, and so she bought you a birthday card. She did. Yeah, if you want to look at it, it's right there. If you want, if you. She's if you the want greatest. Yeah. I let me tell you. Let me tell you about my birthday. By the way. Yeah, I want to hear about it. 
This is should I be doing? Oh my yeah. god! This is this is awesome. Read it out loud. Yeah, I mean it's a lot to read, but this is you know. this is really nice. Yeah, tough to read in people's handwriting. Too. Russ just wrote Kobe. <laughs> you know, I miss <laughs> these people. Ah, that's that's very sweet of them. Um, yeah, um, I, I definitely have to go back there. I I would have. I so I was I was supposed to uh, be in Fire Island. I did go to Fire Island. Yeah. Um, but they have a bonfire at the end of the year, which is really fun. Um. It's it's like all the, like the local people that live there, and uh, it's fun for the kids. But like I was so over going to Fire Island, like now now I feel like the summer's over. I just did not want to go back there. Did you go more this year than you've ever gone before? <laughs> you know I have. Yeah, yeah. So that's you, you you were done by the end. So I was done. I was like, yeah, I'm I'm I don't need to go back. But my nieces are there, and then Friday I ended up working so late that I'm. I, the ferries are all out of whack now, so I didn't uh, I didn't get out there till Saturday. Oh, okay. and I was just in a bad mood the whole time. Like I almost didn't want to go because I knew I was like I'm not gonna give them what they want. <laughs> you know, you feel a responsibility to like perform for not your family. Not perform, when you're... just be, I be a fun guy. I don't want to show up and be miserable. Yeah, yeah, and that's what my mood was. Yeah. But you know, after you know, you hang out for fifteen minutes. The kids are fun playing hide and seek, have a couple beers, and yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, all right, this is this is good. So it's hard. This to is just very nice. That. It's hard to just even to acknowledge you're in a bad mood and then to just change that mood, even though you know it's ridiculous. It's like sometimes you're just it like, is. you know that it's ridiculous, but I, I'm like, I want to be annoyed right now. Yeah. I want to be mad. I feel like a child when I do that. You yeah. do. Like, I can't yeah. stop. Yeah. It's... But everybody gets that way. Yeah, and absolutely. you know you're doing Like, you know you're doing And you can feel yourself coming out of it. And sometimes you kind of hold on to it longer just because you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you want sympathy and attention? I don't know. It's I don't such know a what, weird thing. I don't know what, where it yeah. stems from, but. Someone needs to coddle you. But it's yeah. you who needs to do that. Yeah. When you get to I adulthood, think. it's you're really one responsible being, for that. I hate being that way. And I that, that's you don't want to. I don't want to show that. There's a Brandy Carlisle song that I. You know. You guys know Brandy Carlisle. Yeah. She's got a song I. <laughs> I'm trying to fit in with the cools. Um, she's got a. She's got this one line that I always think about where she says, uh, "Do I make myself a blessing around everyone, I see or something like that?" And I'm like, I should try to live by that. But often I'm not a blessing around people. Yeah. It just it it makes it tries it, it reminds me of like just be a, a a pleasant person around people. But sometimes you don't feel like a pleasant person, and you just want to sit yeah. in your apartment and wallow in the sadness. That's a lot of pressure, though. Just always be a pleasant person, and it's also like a little bit annoying. You want to have you want somebody who has a little bit of discerning uh, emotion. You know what I mean? Like it's if you're just always you're. you're the sign of a true idiot is someone who's just always happy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's, so you don't want to be No, that you're either. right. You're right. It's so be great to just be dumb. <laughs> right? Yeah. Here it's just bliss, you know? Like That's truly what they dumb. Say. And, well, right. I, they always say that, like, people that are very happy are very dumb. Yeah. Like, if you're happy all the time. Right. <laughs> yeah. But if I, you have, there's no introspection, is that a word? If yeah, you of course it's a word. It's, you know what I mean? It, you just all do like like yeah, it's great. Everything's great. I don't know. Is it? it takes a real. It takes a thinking man to be like. I don't know. Is everything. Everything's not that great. But I also want. I don't want to be that person where every time you see them, it's negative, negative, negative. Well, yeah, you'll never be that. I try you, to like you know those people, and that's never. You're, you're not. I don't want to do that. You're not in danger of becoming that. You're allowed to be no, in no, a bad no. mood every once in a while. Yeah. But also, ah, you just, uh, you're right. You're right. I'm gonna go with it. I'm I'm okay with being in a bad mood once in a while. All right, yeah. you yeah. don't. You guys never put me in a bad mood. Though, I'll say that. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Andrew Bergen. Me? Yeah. Tell me about these yo-yos. So, I'm getting right into it. All right. I want to hear it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Ten years old. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I mean, like, I think I got a yo-yo around Christmas time. And then I competed in yo-yoing for 20 years. Yeah. Um, second place in the world, 2017. He's big time. Uh, Northeast regional champion many times. He won, like, a can of Coke once. Yeah. I, well, a Mountain Dew. I, <laughs> well, when I got second place at the World Yo-Yo Contest, my prize was a trophy and a 16-ounce Mountain Dew. That's incredible. Um, so that's kind of, like, where I've, I was at 
for a while mm. than doing stand up, you know, just like two things that uh, deplete your income yeah. entirely. <laughs> yeah. Just like nothing um, going for it. Um, but then, you know, this year I was like, let me let me make some yo-yos. I wanted to make something dumb. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Um, I think kind of like I think when I was a kid, I was like, I'm going to make yo-yos and mm. do whatever. But like. It's never like I'm gonna make my money doing this or anything like that. Right. Um, so the fact that like money is coming in is like unbelievable. Yeah. Well, I saw the price. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a hundred twenty dollar yo-yo. Yeah. But it's big. Is this it? I burst. This is. I like. I thought they were supposed to be orange. So I mean, like this is just the other two colorways. Okay. This is just the one that I had in my car because yeah. I've been selling all the orange ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's approximately the size and shape of an orange. Mm-hmm. And that's really it. Like. I think that there are so many good yo-yos in the world now. You what know makes it? Yeah, of course. I'm, you know I'm caught up on the yo-yo business. So what makes a good yo-yo? Yeah. Um, I mean, like, so all of these have bearings. So, like, mm. when you throw it down to the end, it continues to spin. It goes up, down. It goes up, down. The company's name is Up, Down, U-P-D-N. Do you know, the, do you know why it's called that? Because the yo-yo goes up and down. Yeah, U-P-D-N, if you flip it upside down, is the same. How about that? Yeah, love, Brian, how about that? I love good marketing. By the way, I love the UPDN. I, I like the symbol. That's why I think you should lean heavy on merch. I already yeah. want a hat. I'm saying it on the podcast. This is just the company that you've com- you like hooked up with that's making your yo-yos? Or is that your, is that your, your company? Yeah. He's the guy. Wow. So We're looking at the guy. Here. You're the guy. He's it's Mr. Me. Up Down. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, Wait, do you, is, it, is it Up Down or do you say UPDN? It's up down. Okay, I'm just yeah. making sure I didn't want to sound like a fool. Yeah, no. I mean, like a lot of people are like up in, up down. Oh yeah. Which I knew would happen, but got a got an uneaters situation mm-hmm. on your hands. Yep. Yeah, it's it's still <laughs> worth it for the logo. It flips upside down. It's cool. I get to go like whoop, whoop, and then I love it. Uh, Did you come up with that? Yeah. Yeah. I came up with that when I was 16 years old. Wow. Um, there were these wipes that I had from Target. The brand yeah, was yeah. up and up. Yeah. So I flipped it upside down. I was like, oh, it says down and down. Mm. And then I was like, up, down, yo, yo. I'm 16. That's all I really thought that's about. That's it. Yeah. And I was that's, like, that's how it. it starts. Just a spark. Yeah. I a mean, a spark from a, from a wet wipe. And it took a long time to like figure out. But I would say like the yo, yo world has gotten very focused on competition mm. and like mathematically perfect yo yos. Um, which is. Is that w- cheating? No. Um, because you still have to like do the things. Like even if it's been spun forever, if there was a, a yo-yo that you threw down and it just kept spinning, you still need to learn these tricks that are very challenging. Right, right, right. Like I couldn't so do a trick with the, that. The thing. first, the like the first yo-yo did it have a bearing in it? No, fixed axle. So fixed axle. A fixed axle yo-yo is just like a rod in the middle, and that just bounces back up. Yeah. So I mean, so that can spin a little bit. The the real innovation is the string at the end, like isn't tied around it it's like it twists out and then goes around it so at first like the first yo-yos like they would just be tied around so it just goes down it comes right back up then eventually it could sleep because you have that string that allows it to spin a yeah, little yeah. bit but there's so much friction on that eventually that like it catches and yeah eventually it either stops spinning or it just catches um so then there was like a transaxle which is like it was like a plastic almost bearing and then finally bearings were put in and that's like the biggest innovation that happened. Okay. So all these competitions, everybody's using bearings. It's all you know. That's there's no there's nobody who looks down on that in the in the yo yo competition. World. No. All what right. if somebody crushed with one axle? I mean, that was, <laughs> just fucking destroyed. I, that I, guy I, does. He's a one axle guy. Yeah. It just doesn't seem possible. It would it be doesn't. like it would be like using a plastic baseball bat or something. Yeah. Like, that. like well, it's just be, like something that's like. Uh, I guess there's theoretically a possibility that could happen, yeah. but like it's the the whole like contest system is. It's a new it's game. It's long. a new it's a new ball game. Do you remember those yo-yos from the '90s? You might know them. Um, they were like balls. They were like these little plastic balls. Yo-yo ball. It was that what it was called? Yeah. And it would just it was like zip out. Yeah. You didn't have to do anything. And like uh, when you're selling these, like uh, when you like type in the type of product you have a lot of times it will come up with yo-yo ball as like instead of yo-yo or anything like that oh, it'll really? say yo-yo ball or like 
it's funny, like, in that is, like, tricycles and, like... Yeah, it was, like, a kid's thing, right? Yeah. Hmm. Those are pretty it, cool. It reminded me of, like, a Nerf football. Like, you could... Where that Remember that football that whistled? You could throw, yeah, like, yeah. 100 miles? Yeah, those um, were fun. I, but they always had, like... They were Nerf, but they the whistle ones had, like, a bit of something hard in it. Yes. So, occasionally... You get hit with you it. You get hit with the hard I part remember getting hit in the wrist. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, God. Um... But I, 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 I remember playing with that yo-yo ball. That was fun because it makes you feel like you could do something. This makes me happy because I, you know, I used to yo-yo quite a bit when I was young too. Not, Is that not, true? Yeah, just I would never to the point where like I, you know, was in a competition. But I used to always have a yo-yo with me, and I would yeah. always just be yo-yoing. I could, I could rock the cradle, and I could, you know, mm. walk. I could do like the basic. You walk shit. the dog. Yeah, I could rock. You know, you rock the cradle. Mm -hmm. But um, I always thought I was cheating because I'd always I knew that it was like. A bearing or something that, I, and I. So I'm happy to hear that I was using l like legitimate yo-yos. I always thought there was like yo-yos that kind of are easier. Yeah. Are there yo-yos that are just like easier? I mean, I, mean, I was just buying yo-yos in a store, so. Yeah, I, I think like um. So a lot of the yo-yos that are quote unquote easier like come back up more easily. Yeah. Or something right. like that. The yo-yo, like this yo-yo here, it's like people at work will be like, I want to buy one. I'm like, I don't think you want to buy a hundred twenty dollar right. yo-yo. That doesn't come up unless you do a special trick, because like if you just pull up like an old yo-yo, it doesn't come back. This specific yours? Yeah, you have to do a trick called a bind, which like you throw the string into the gap and then it Jesus makes Christ. it wind back up. So this is this is for this is for real yo-yoers. Yeah, like the the first batch is just for yo-yo dorks like me. Mm -hmm. Like um, eventually I want to make something for everybody. Right, something um, that I could buy. Exactly. Something yeah. that I could play with. Because a big problem is that, like, all these yo-yos that people come out with, they don't come back up where they should. Like, yeah. they've become too... They uh, go down, they don't go up. Exactly, Like yeah. this one. Mm. May I touch it? Can I touch it? Of that course, one? yeah. May I touch it? <laughs> it's like, it's about, it's Man. like twice the size of a regular yo-yo. That's really yeah. the, the big wow factor. But I've just always thought, like... um a big yo-yo looks like fun. I don't know. It does look like, like fun. It's not that complicated. I so think a lot of the stuff that I do is Would you use this in a competition? Yeah, I'm going to be at a... There's a New York State contest, Coney Island, October oh, 5th. Nice. I'll be there um, competing. Not to the same level that I was in the past, but I could certainly do the vast majority of everything on this. And there's certain things that it's way better for. Um, tricks where you have to catch it on the string. There's certain things that it's not as good for, like if you have to do something really small and intricate. But okay, um, for the most part, what most people think, like yo-yo heads, when they try this, is like they go, "Wow!" Like I'm surprised that it actually works. Really? Because of how large? Because of is. the size? Yeah, and it feels lighter than you would expect it to, mm -hmm. um, and it's just very good in general. Which I have to like. My designer is amazing. The manufacturer is amazing. And where did you find those guys? That's just are these people that you you knew through the yo yo industry or? Yeah, like the guy that I had designed it, Jamie is like a he does his like a his own little brand, but he also does designs. Uh, the manufacturer is like a yo yo specific manufacturer. Mm. So, the process of like doing this sort of thing has become much easier for at least like me. Like I know, like all this stuff. If I was trying to make something else, it would be pretty challenging, but. It is very enlightening to see, like, when you make something like this, it's like you contact a designer, you send it to the manufacturer, and then they send you the thing. Like, there's not that much else that goes on unless you're making something really, really complicated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, if you wanted to make a cup, you certainly could. Yeah, a cup. Yeah, I have faith in you to make a cup. <laughs> like a, <laughs> that's, a, that's like a I drinking think. cup or yeah, like a cup think. to protect? Either one. I think you could do both. I would love to do something like that. Well, I would yeah. love so, to make a cup. Uh, yeah, the, I'm fascinated this like we were saying like we don't want to do a, like interviews i know podcast, i know but, but this, this is, is not cool this is not somebody who's like oh we're kind of open mics we do that this is fascinating yeah, yeah i'm not like i was at so, one eye jacks last week <laughs> yeah yeah uh, this is interesting nine people thought this one was funny but i was <laughs> sick and tired of the fact that they're not liking this joke the same five people yeah. that watched it last week <laughs> so this like designs on like 3d software and you just you can just send that design to a company and they can just like they just make that. I mean, yeah. And the guy that like I send it out to also like makes a correction or two. Like he's yeah. super knowledgeable about it, and it makes it easy love for it. me. I mean, like I I think that the branding is really what sells everything. Dude, I I love the orange. Yeah. I don't know what it is. That color I think is very, like it made me wanna own that. Yeah, I I think that uh, for the, like. <laughs> <laughs> 
What was the motion you made? No, the, uh, but the shape of it makes me want to like. A, a, it looks like it. Looks what do you like want to do to it? It looks Ryan? like it feels good. Oh yeah, god! Like, you know, like, I mean, Keep yeah. this guy away from me. I mean, like he might buy one for <laughs> God knows what. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get you. I'll, I'll make an adult babies discount code if anyone what listening you, to the adult babies wants it. By the way, you a, should do that. A few dollars. And discount off. it. A few dollars. It's, <laughs> like like it's going to be a lot dollars off. Yeah, I mean, you hike it up and then. You put in the code and you see how much comes off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I was excited to try this, and I feel like I'm not even going to be able to use this one. No, I'll, I'll teach you how to use it. Yeah, you got to say I do a special trick. I don't know how to do a special trick. I'll show you how to do the special. Yeah, trick. Yeah, but it's you know what? You're, you're somebody that could learn on the. On yeah, the, you're very on the competent. Quick. I don't think that uh, Brendan could do this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right, but I don't like that you said that. <laughs> I just am looking around at all this camera equipment, all the things that are going on. Yeah. When I go to your apartment, there's like a dead animal. On the floor. Oh, but th this has nothing to do with yo-yoing. It could be, you know. Yeah, but I'm the sure talent. there's people on the yo-yo circuit that look like him. Yeah, well, no, but, no, no. but now you're bringing and, my looks and, into it. Well, and that have you know, uh, like floss features. sticks in their couch, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Some I, people I guess don't floss at all. Cleanliness isn't necessary. Yeah, well, it is. But um, I, I, I think I can pick things up pretty easily, okay? Uh, cameras, not so much. But, yeah, I, I, I guarantee if you taught me how to do it, I could do it. All right. Very I... easily. Who do you think uh, is cooler? The, uh, the uh, what are the, <laughs> Rubik's Cube? Not the Rubik's Cube. What's the thing that you put together? Like the puzzle? Yeah, the Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube? Yeah, because they have, like, competitions for that, too. Yeah. And um, I always feel like... They should just like yo yo. That should be like the same weekend of competitions. Here's the thing. You know, I he doesn't find like that. he doesn't like that. Kind of you know. <laughs> I, I have a, a lot of things to say. Yeah. I uh, before you say anything, I think the, I'm e Go ahead. the yo yo is more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It is. It's you a better see show. Tricks. With it's the show. Rubik's, it's <laughs> yeah. I I don't mean to be dismissive of that. I'm equally impressed with both of these things. Does the Rubik's cube Equal. people? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you think that you think that yo yoing is more impressive than a, somebody can put a Rubik's cube together in yeah five seconds? One is an algorithm. One you just like learn how to do it and then is you that do true? it faster. Yeah, it's just like every one of those things. It's like um, the the real amazing thing, like when people are super fast, is how they can assess every right. side of the cube. But like it's like I think it's something along the lines of like turn twice here, turn twice here, and then you get that part in that spot. And there's a lot of different algorithms, but it's kind of like chess or like a game that you can be that can be solved. Because mm -hmm. it's like Rubik's cubes are fully solved. There's nothing else to figure out with them. Right. Right. Um, I guess as somebody who has never done one and has always thought this is impossible, I'm impressed by it. But the Rubik's cube. Yeah. I, I don't. I just I've don't. I don't know how one. Because to me, it's like, oh, I got one side. It's like, yeah, but then as soon as you make another move, now you no longer have that one side. So w n w why even bother trying to get one side? But you're saying these guys. It's not even like they're not looking at it and like solving it. That's they're just, pretty they're, impressive. They're just they're just seeing what they have to do to get back. Did they see the colors. Yeah, and and I'm not like knocking it in any sort of Sounds way. Like a little, a little bit. bit. A little knocking. A little bit. A little knock. I, I would say it's less creative. By a well, lot. yeah, certainly it's that's less creative. True. Yeah, you know, of course. Although. The, like the the people that I watch yo yo like some of the most amazing like performers and stuff like that the people who do Rubik's cube are geniuses but mm. it's like there's only so much you can do they do two one in each hand or yeah, they yeah, do yeah. like this or that like it's pretty like to, for a spectator it is extremely boring yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it is yeah. it is not fun. they would That's... certainly they would certainly be the opening act for yeah sure. they, 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 yeah the headliners That's... the headliners the yo yo competition for sure. That's the act where people are filing in and just... I... Yeah. The only time I solved the Ru uh, Rubik's Cube is when I had one and I, I took... The, they had stickers and I took the little stickers off and that's how I solved it. And I, I just put it together like that. Smarter than solutions to the Rubik's Cube. Took it apart and then pulled out a tube of super glue. That's right. Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. Atmosphere lyric. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That guy That guy knows his stuff. Yeah. Yeah, only white rappers with this guy. Oh yeah, yeah. We <laughs> I know. do feel a little racist with my how much I bit. love how much I love white rappers. Yeah, <laughs> his Feels whole a little. I think, yeah, I, I, I. You only like white rappers. That's not true at all. But it's very uh, true. That's not true. My f <laughs> your top ten favorite songs, all whites. <laughs> all I whites. Mean, yeah, my favorite couple rappers are white, so that is problematic to start. <laughs> but I definitely, it's definitely not all white rappers. Yeah, they collaborate with some other people. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a producer in there. Yeah, yeah Asap Rock did three albums with Homeboy Sandman, so it's oh, like yeah. you know, Homeboy Sandman, who could, who for, 
can forget. It's true. <laughs> 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 you ever do you ever show anyone that have you ever seen the thing that has like the amount of lyrics yeah, that everyone has? Yeah. And Aesop Rock is always on the top and then like at a certain point, you're like going like, I know a guy who knows more words than your guy. Because yeah. <laughs> he has like five, he has like 6,000 different words that he's used in so songs it's, versus. So it's uh, unique words. And their, their first four or five albums, they counted how many u- unique words rappers use. Oh, okay. And What's a unique word? In like a-, a word that they never used before. So yeah. like if you if a rapper uses the same words over and over again they don't like it doesn't count. So every every time a rapper used a different word in their lyrics mm-hmm. they, they count it. So how many times, you know. So oh, it's essentially okay. it's essentially measuring their vocabulary and Aesop Rock is far be- but then they I think they recently came out with some they measured somebody else and he was more that had more than Aesop oh, cool. Rock. Who who was he? I forget his name cuz he's black. Um <laughs> that's why you wouldn't remember. I actually don't like him at all, but it's not it's, well, it's not but cuz Bus Driver is another rapper. He's a high he's high up there too and he's Bus Driver. Yeah. Bus Driver. <laughs> I don't know Bus Driver. I am so out of the game. Yeah, you don't know anything out of about game. underground hip hop. I don't. Um, so I'm, I'm, in, I'm in an Aesop Rock Facebook group, and they always make jokes about that that list. Like, oh, the list is coming out again. Like, it's, <laughs> make, it's making the rounds again. Aesop Rock. Do people get upset when he when he fell off? Like he was in number two. No, nah, not like... people. No, I mean, no. Some people, yes. Some people. Did. This is long. Sure. I mean, the gap between him and the person before him is so great that like he doesn't matter. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he's ma- you're making excuses for him. No, but he's, he's basically he's, number one. <laughs> no, it's just that he's. The, yeah, he's better. He's far, he's far enough away from anybody else that it's. Yeah. It also doesn't matter if you if you don't sound good. It doesn't matter how big your vocabulary. It's all about is. the sound. I like how he sounds. I don't listen to him going. Oh, there's another new word. Oh, another unique word. Yeah. 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 Number one now is Kid Leroy. I don't know Kid Leroy. He's the number one guy. Is he the number one? Look, Ryan's looking it up already. Who is this Kid Leroy? This is a guy that like does songs with Justin Bieber. Like it's he's not he doesn't even rap. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Leroy. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look up who the uh, new. Who the new champion is? Yeah. The champ. Yeah. The new champ. Being number two is good, though. Being number three is okay as well. Yeah. You know? Being, people, some people say number two is better than number one. A lot of pressure for number one. Yeah. You know? I've been number one a few now, times. This is the life. old chart, so this still has... Um, it's not updated. Yeah, bus driver is... He's creeping is, up. ...is up there, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got a lot of words. Got a lot of words. Got a lot of stops. A lot of words. Bus driver. Yeah. Mm. He's pretty good. He's got some good songs. Yeah. He's got some hits. You wouldn't like it. How do you know? What? How do you know I wouldn't like it? You like simpler things. A lot of assumptions going on. You know what it is? You should go into the list and see who has like 200, 300 words because that would be right (laughs) up your alley. By the way, if there were were a list on the most unique words on a podcast, I think I might be up there. What's a unique yeah, word? Yeah, because sometimes used? he invents words or he says words <laughs> wrong, so he, can, he counts those too. Uh, well, those are good. words. You know, yeah. you can't. I'm sure a bus driver uh, and eh, whatever. It worry a Webster's dictionary. You know? <laughs> so uh, Micah 9 is the new champion. Oh, Micah 9. Yeah. yeah he's, he's got some good stuff. Yeah. Oh, let's play a little bit of him. Play a little Micah 9 for us. Yeah. You're going to get a flag taken down. You're not going to make any we don't money get, on this we don't, get, we don't get paid for it anyway. You can't, you can't let them know that. You know it's not good when you look up an artist and like all of their top songs aren't even their songs; they're just yeah. features of other other people. That's not good. It's think, not great. I think that is good. It's not good. Why would is that good because guess, yeah, because yeah. other people want to work with him? Yeah, I guess it's like your most the most popular thing you didn't make. Yeah, you just like showed up one day. Depending on how you like it, I can live a long time. But if not, I might drop dead. I'm not that actually. <laughs> maybe, I mean, I've heard I like, all of those. Words maybe I like before. Mike and Nine. I've yeah, heard all these. I words. think I think you're more interested in the amount of words than you are just hip hop in general. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> I feel the need to be truthful about that. No, no, yeah. no. I don't not care how many all. words there are. There could be just a few, and I would like it. Yeah. So what else have you been up to, Mister Bergen? I got engaged. I think since the last time I was on the pod. Yes, you're 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 gonna what? be getting married to a lovely lady, the best lady. She's great, Christine. Yeah, she's, she's a, a she's wonderful she's, lady. She, I miss uh, her. I haven't seen. I, I I don't see you guys anymore. I, I try to not let her see you so she doesn't get <laughs> swept off her feet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> next yeah, thing I know, I have to go up on Domain Street, and you two are up there. <laughs> 
Just goofing around. By the way, last time I saw you was when you had me in the back of that coffee shop with that thing on my head, that Apple oh, yeah, thing on my the head. Apple my Vision Pro. God. And that's when. So did, I don't. I guess you probably haven't. I don't know if you have mentioned this on the pod, but I probably did. You did. Yeah. That you're the officiant. What is it called? I don't even know. You're gonna like do the vows at my wedding yes, or whatever. Yeah. You're, gonna, the, ma- you're gonna marry them. Yeah. I'm the host. <laughs> He's gonna marry us. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. The, you guys I wouldn't are, have it any other. You guys way. are the headliners. Um. I am. <laughs> I, I am so uh, honored to be a part of that. That's that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. It was. Uh, Christine and I were talking about it, and it was like one of the first moments of like when we're talking about the wedding and stuff. Like, I feel like it's kind of stressful almost because mm-hmm. you're like there's so many things to plan out but it was the first thing i'm like brendan could do the thing and she was like yes and we were like oh this is gonna be our wedding it's gonna the be thing. fun isn't that it's fun i feel very uh very good about that that you got this is a big day in your life maybe the biggest and you think who who do we want talking up there brendan brendan will be good yeah that's pretty you're cool. Not in a bad mood that day. No, right. but I won't be in a bad mood that day. I won't be. You better not. Be. Maybe I'll be. I'll, be I'll have to get up. you out of it. You, but you always do. I'll have to go. <laughs> you always. Do. <laughs> <laughs> you always do. If that doesn't work, nothing. Yeah, that always works. I'll have yeah. to do he knows raspberries to, on your he tummy. He does raspberries on my tummy. It always works. He knows how to get me going. Oh my! When good. is that going to happen? That's going to be June eighth next year. June eighth. Already so in my book. We got books. a little time. Yeah. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um. Yeah, and then aside from that, I'm just working at Apple, the Apple Store. Mm-hmm. If you ever um, need any? Uh, if you ever do you have anything? the Vision Pro? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll you love it. it? Uh, I mean, like, it is amazing, but it does sit in my drawer a lot of the time. Well, they just updated the new update. Come out. Did you have updated it yet? Um, I'll probably do that tonight. Actually, now that yeah. you remind me. Do you have it? No, no, but I'm a I'm a big Apple guy. I yeah. listen to Apple pod, you know, like podcast about Apple products. So oh, really? which one? Uh, Mac Break Weekly. Ah, yeah. There's so many different ones. Yeah, that one's been around forever. So, um, the hell do they just talk about like the latest updates? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it it, it becomes Thrilling. interesting at a certain point for some reason. Yeah, they talk, but they talk about sometimes like, uh, you know, uh, court cases that involve Apple. Like, oh, okay, they have to they have to pay um, Ireland like thirty four billion dollars or something like that. <laughs> like, for what? Because they were using a bank account over there to like not pay taxes over here, and then they there was some ruling that's um, like you actually have to pay those taxes. So they, like Ireland's just getting a check for billions of dollars. Good. And it's about like, time. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty funny though because they're like, all right, let's fix the highways. I guess thanks to Apple. That's like, great. The whole country is gonna get better just because Apple. Yeah, and like Apple's like, all right, like the- yeah, right. Like, oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, we tried. You know. Yeah, they have so much cash. Mm. Like, but yeah, so the guy they were talking about the new like everything just got updated. Phones, Mac OS's, watches, everything just got an update. And um they're saying the only one to definitely without question update is the Vision Pro because there's no reason not to. Other, like sometimes it's not good to update your stuff right away. You wait for them to get the get the bugs get the out. bugs out and then you update. But Have you tried the Vision Pro? No, I wanted to make an appointment to go in there and get but does it's like, yeah, that's a whole thing. We gotta measure you for it. So I'm like, I'll do no, it. No, he had he had me do it on the back of Which a, Apple do you work at? Uh Roosevelt Field. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit far. I mean, you're no, right here I'm, by Smith Haven. But. Yeah, but I, I like to drive. Dude, I'm, I'm so always fun. looking for an excuse to go somewhere that's not here. Yeah, or I'll go, yeah. I'll go eat at the Grand Lux. I'll have, uh, you know. Yeah, or I'll bring. Yeah. I'll make a day I'll bring out one of it. here. Do you wear glasses or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, normally. But you have yeah. contacts. Yeah. No, I don't. No. Zero, never. No, mm. it freaks me out. Should I? But I'm th- thinking about getting them because I really hate wearing glasses. Yeah, because like with the Apple Vision Pro, you either need to get the inserts or you just wear contacts. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that was a that was a problem. I guess yeah, those things are right up there. I don't fly a lot, but man, if I did fly, I would have them so quick. The idea of sitting on a plane and having a full movie sized theater experience oh while you sit God. there, I couldn't. I, I that that's too stressful. I feel like yeah. I wouldn't know what's happening in the cabin. The thing is, you go like, you move it up a little, you can right. like, see off of it, or like. Uh, there was times in the back of the we were we were at Flux Coffee Shop doing it. There was times I got nervous and had to yeah. take it up. Yeah, it's impressive, it. but I also could see, like you said, it could sit in the draw for a while because it's oh, like. So you can check to see. So I we I posted an episode of our podcast in uh, virtual reality. I did. I had like I shot it in the with the Insta three hundred and sixty. So oh, you nice. Can, so I'm wondering. I I if you just look at it, go to YouTube and you watch a YouTube video that is is shot in VR. Can you can you get the VR experience if you pull up YouTube on there? With YouTube, there's lots of hoops to jump through uh. still, but yes. 
like I can get it to work. Yeah. Or if you have like just the file, I can definitely get it to work. But I feel like I'll do it tomorrow so I don't have to do two podcasts in a row. It's going to be too much. Why? Yeah. To like I'm here now and then I like come back. I go home. Yeah, no, I'm back I, here. I I don't need to watch it all. I would <laughs> I'm just I'm just I want to see how it looks if it looks, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll bring it over here. We'll do, you should we'll have brought do another tonight. episode, Ryan. Try I just want Apple Vision yeah. Pro. It, it it would be funny to do it on the podcast because it's 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 wild. Yeah. I so just... when was the last time you played with it? Uh, huh? Probably a week ago. You know what I do? I the the one thing that I do somewhat frequently <laughs> is like watch movies and it. it's the that best, I would do. Yeah. It is purely the best movie watching experience yeah. that you can possibly have outside of. I mean, like maybe a better theater or something, but mm-hmm. the sound is perfect. It's in 3D. It's There's like, nobody in your way. You're. It, it's a theater experience without having to worry about anybody ruining your theater, theater right. experience. Right, unless you get robbed and you don't even know it. Yeah, that's true. That's what worries me. Home, you'd probably be okay. Yeah, but uh, you never know. Yeah. yeah, you never know. I know it's true. Like sometimes I'll be watching it and I just have to like. You just have to, to like. Sure. All right, is everything all right around here? Eating pop. I mean, you have to like kind of just eating your popcorn. You you know, normally in a theater you can look at your popcorn yeah. and you can look what's around you, but you kind of just locked in. Yeah, it's tough to eat in that thing. Yeah, That's I can, I've lost I can a lot see of that. weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you gone to the theaters lately? Yeah, Christine likes to go a lot. So we have like the AMC Movie Pass. Okay. Uh, sponsored. Have you tried the 4DX movie? Not 4DX. Okay. I've tried some of the other ones. Like they have some really great theaters now, and like you can like lay down comfortably. So we'll like do edibles and then like just like melt into the theater. It's kind of nice. Lay down like fully. Eh, that seems like you get too much. most of the way. It's very comfortable. Yeah, and, and you know, I got they have a couple good burgers there too. Where is this place? Uh, AMC, like Levittown, like any AMC. Oh, that place. Like, yeah, any AMC on Hampstead Turnpike. Yeah, yeah. Any AMC has this. They for used the most to be part. a. No. They yeah, I guess they've yeah, gotten used to better. Be a dump. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. It's like it's like a it's like a cozy hang at night. Like it's like you don't want to do anything, and then she'll be like, "You want to see a movie?" I'm like, mm, "All right, fine," because mm. you can just go and. Bring a blanket, lay down. You could bring it. You bring a blanket into this place. Yeah, like you can just treat it like your living room. Well, like that's another thing that sucked about that 4DX is they don't recline. You're, you're forced to sit you're up because you don't stick. get the full experience. What'd yeah. you see in 4DX? So well, that's this why I dumb, to dumb, ask you. This dumb dumb went to go see Twisters in it, and he was telling me how fun it was. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to go see, but I went to a different theater, and I think mine was broken. His so was I broken. Got, I got like I wanted to hear if you have been to it, and you would be the tiebreaker to see if it's really good. Where was it? I went to the one in Deer Park. Okay, I gotta go there. I went to the one over here in um, like Holbrook. The mm-hmm. it used to be called Island Sixteen. Oh like yeah, show, yeah, yeah. I would check Showtime. Showtime. Like what? Well, but I did say it's something that maybe was cool for the first hour, but then I was like, all right, enough. Yeah. Getting shook. I, yeah, I think a lot of that stuff is kind of silly. It's like, how often in a movie do you want to be shaking, wind at you, stuff like that? That's why I went to see Twister in it, because I was like, if I'm going to do it, this is the movie to do it. Yeah. Spraying rain at me and all that stuff. Um, and it was cool, but it got a lot, and Ryan had a terrible experience. But yeah. So we were trying to get to go see, um, trying to schedule to go see Beetlejuice together, because that's also in 4D. Yeah. But we didn't get to do it. Dude, and, that movie's um, stuck. And I, that's, what, that's all. I, that's all I heard. So I wasn't like super. I wanted to see it for the 4D experience of it to see if it was much different than the experience I had. But I just kept hearing how bad the movie is. It was you like it was just like pointless. I don't understand why they why? made a movie. It just like a cash grab. Yeah, I could see that. I don't. I don't. I I love the original. I I didn't have much interest in seeing the, the it. Was, it's Michael Keaton, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Like it's just like it's one of these things like. It's just like it's cool that Michael Keaton's there, but you're like Michael Michael Keaton's here. Like it's like the whole time, like you yeah. never get into the movie. Yeah. The, the thing is, like they didn't say they thought, oh, we should make another Beetlejuice, and then figure out what that was afterwards. It wasn't like somebody had the idea about a, a, a sequel to a Beetlejuice, and then they're like, we got to make this. Right. So it's, it's like they. It's what comes first. It's like mm-hmm. it would be cool if this had. Okay, how do we do it? If they had a great story. If you have, if you have a, a sequel idea and it's like, oh, this would be great. Oh, we should actually do this. If that, I feel if like that's the need f- to do it, then that you might you have a chance. I feel like it should be this movie should be a could be a standalone movie on itself. The second, mm-hmm. See, I almost think the other way. A lot of the best sequels were like were intended to be the second part of the okay. like Godfather. Like yeah, that yeah. was supposed yeah, to be I guess that was really mean. just one movie and Kill Bill one and two, like 
it's two was just the second part of mm. that was like the whole point of those being two movies that's true that's yeah. true it's rarely like 20 years later you're like oh okay like now we'll we'll pick up from where it was everyone's like 20 years older mm. like so many things yeah. have changed in the world then like the next thing you know it's like uh, one thing i hate is like movies where it's like it was like from the 90s and now it's in 2015 and now it has cell phones in it yeah, and they're like, look, like there's always a point in the movie where they're like, look at this thing, and it's like an app or something like I, that. Yeah, I've, I've never been excited about a movie that was like twenty years later. We're gonna future. Try to, uh, yeah, like it's you done. don't like Back to the Future. No, I mean like a movie that um, came out in the eighties or nineties, and then twenty years later they decide to make a sequel oh, to like it that. or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Like I, I've I've never been interested in that. I've yeah. never yeah. been gotten excited about it. It always, like you said, felt like a cash grab. It's like an old. It's like a band's getting back together and being like, "Oh, we're recording an album." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. No, like, there's no like, chance that you guys are gonna be good at that. <laughs> they made one album like 25 years ago. And yeah, like, we're gonna o- make a second one. Oasis is like, "Oh, we're not only going on tour, we're recording a new, we're recording new music." I'm like, yeah. "And who gives yeah. a fuck? You guys don't know how to do that anymore." No, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't done it in so long. Yeah, has you anybody can't... done that great? No, never. No, never. Name no. one thing. I see you cooking in there. You're not going to find one. I, I mean, like, there's got to be a couple, but I think, like, a lot of the things are remakes. Like, there are remade movies that are pretty decent, mm, but yeah. not, like, old, like long sequels. Right. Um, you know what actually kind of sort of worked? I didn't like it, but um, what was the one that was, like, supposed to be, like, sort of the Karate Kid sequel on Netflix? Oh, yeah, Cobra Kai. Yeah, people really, really liked oh, that they, one. Oh, they did yeah. like that. There's that certain, was good yeah. because I felt like they were in on it. They kind of leaned it into was like how they leaned in how, how this is dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that sort of stuff is like ruining culture to a certain extent of like all these nostalgia things. Instead yeah. of bringing out new ideas, you just make everyone try to feel comfortable with what they used to know. Isn't it funny how the two compliments that you, the the two complaints you hear so frequently is, "Boy, you couldn't make that movie these days." You know, times have really changed. Yeah. And the other one is they keep making the same movies over You're and over right. again. It's like, well, which one is it? Which one is yeah, it? Yeah, like because you can't. That's like, what point. do you what do you want? That's do you want so true. The old yeah. movies or do you want a new movie? Because that's all they keep feeding you is one or the other. Yep. Oh yeah. man. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's also like, who gives a fuck if they couldn't make that movie anymore? That it was. It's there. It's in the can. Go it's watch there. it if you want to watch it. Yeah. Now we're gonna make a movie. People always complain. Oh, you can't make these movies like they used to. Okay, that movie's made. You don't need to make yeah, that movie and again. In ten years, there are movies we're making now that we could never make in ten years. Like, yeah. It's just gonna keep yeah. going. Just be happy. But with it, what I you think got. it's that nostalgia. Like I think nostalgia is bad for you. I don't disagree. I think I it enjoy keeps it. You complacent. I I enjoy it, but but yeah, you're right. Not like looking at old pictures or something like that, but like being like, I really loved this when I was like yeah, back then, and now I want to just like sit in it for. I don't go 10 for that years. at all, man. Like I, I I am so adverse to that. I was just listening to that Mac Break Weekly, and one of the guys was talking about how excited he was to get the Apple TV because he heard that there was going to be like Snoopy uh, wallpapers <laughs> on it. He was like, "Oh, I thought I finally had a reason to buy the Apple TV. I was going to get." I'm like, "For the Snoopy wallpaper." <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And I was like, I felt so sad for him that I'm like, you're so stuck in your. Ch- what happened to you as a child that you stopped there? Like, oh, and you were like, God. oh, Snoopy. I want to see the Peanuts wallpaper. Yeah. Grow the fuck <laughs> up. It's so dumb. And I, I like this guy. Like, I like his. He's really a sweet guy. And, I, you know, I agree with a lot of what he says. But it's that stuff like that. I'm like so happy to leave my childhood in oh, the past. Oh, God. I, it, it, it's great. I, I mean, but. I mean, so are you talking like for like kids growing up now? They're just are they gonna all their memories are, or their their childhood is just gonna be recreations of our childhood? Exactly, that's what I'm <laughs> that's saying. Sad. Exactly that. Then they're gonna do that. Okay, so they're then, gonna be 20 years old and they're gonna get the version, the third version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna it's just gonna be a Beetle, just Beetle, just Beetlejuice. It's gonna be like multiplicity <laughs> by the like by the the Mike speaking of Michael Keaton. It's like the the. You, remember, you ever see that movie? Yeah, yeah. And it kept getting dumber and dumber with every recreation of him. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna what it's gonna be. Man, that's really uh, that's really A the world cut. for you, aren't? <laughs> <it>? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like yeah. multiplicity. That's yeah. how the world is. Yeah, that was who knows that, that was keep getting dumber and yeah. happens with video games now too. Yeah, they just there's a sixty dollar version of Paper Mario on the exact same one that was on GameCube. Now that you can get on Switch for sixty dollars. Oh. It's like I yeah. don't know, and like I 
part of me that's you likes know what, to that, indulge too. I'm, I was actually as I was saying that I, I like to say wild shit without considering it, but me too. The uh, nostalgia thing, like I definitely like, what we've talked about before. I will occasionally pull up old video games that I that I played as a kid and be like, oh, mm-hmm. this is fun. But it lasts me fi- it lasts five minutes, and then I'm like, well, okay, that's, that's th- fun. Yeah. I'm done with it. So there definitely are things I guess that pop up in my life that I do have. I'm like, oh, this is nice. It was a simpler time, but I I can't. There's I'm comparing that to people who just refuse to get get past. that. No, we all I, that part of it is good. It's like yeah. like looking at an old picture. It's good to like relive it and be like, ah, oh, that was this is fun. I'm probably like that with food a lot. Like I don't eat. I stopped eating meat, but I used to love Arby's, and I'm like, that's it's trash. There's nothing Arby's. to like about it. Big I just, roast beef guy. It just huh? tasted like my childhood. You like horsey sauce? <laughs> I did. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, how about bronco regular, sauce? I think it's a don't perfect example of why it's a bad thing. You know, it's like, right. doesn't mean it's not enjoyable. Doesn't mean that, of course, everyone is subject to nostalgia. Yeah. But the fact that you're going like, I used to eat Arby's when yeah. I was a kid, and now I need a roast, questionable roast beef yeah. again. But it does taste good to me. Like, I'm not, I'm not like eating it because I'm like, oh, this sucks, but I need to eat it. I did. I enjoyed I legitimately enjoyed eating it, but I knew I'm better than this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because that's what nostalgia does. You it taste, brings you back to being a child. And mm-hmm. then you know what's funny is that his childhood was, tastes like beef and cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No cheddar, just the beef and oh, no, no cheddar. cheddar. No, no, no. Beef and no cheddar. Beef. It's so, just beef. You know what's funny is I was, just, I was just playing around with uh, chat GPT before I was trying to get some images together. But one of the, and when you open it, it gives you like ideas for prompts just to play with it. Mm. And one of the ideas was, can you explain the concept of nostalgia to a kindergarten, kindergartner? So then it gives you an answer. So the, this is ChatGPT explaining nostalgia to a kindergarten. Kin, kindergartner. Kindergarten. <laughs> nostalgia is a feeling we get when we remember something for the, from the past that makes us happy. It's like when you think about a fun birthday party you had and a, or a time you played with your friends, your, fr- your, your favorite toy, and it makes you smile. Even though, mo- even though the moment is over, it feels nice to remember. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Jeez. I think that... That kind of sums it up. I think the robots understand <laughs> leave it nostalgia. To, leave it up to the robots to really, yeah. really nail that one down. Yeah. But I think That's... like what you were saying, five minutes or like if you're playing a game, you could get a day, two days out of it. But you like when you get like three months out of it, you're like I'm digressing back to a child. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And they're like there are people who are kind of like their personality is the things they like when they're a kid or when you stand by stuff that you liked as a kid and you refuse to admit that it's not good yeah like, like, yo-yos. That. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like yo-yos. Well, like like the movie clue like i oh, never yeah. i never watched it as a kid so i watched it but i watched it a few years ago and i'm like this movie's terrible like unarguably a bad movie but anybody who watches as a kid Loves loves the movie and they refuse to accept like no it's a great movie it's a great movie it's not a great it's a bad movie yeah and I, there's movies like that, I'm sure, for me, too, that I watch as a kid. Sometimes I think, like, like is, is Christmas Vacation really as good as I think it is? Or I just love that Probably movie not. as a kid. <laughs> also, well, that's, that's and I was it's arguing. It's a decent one. I was arguing with Chick about his favorite movie, The Burbs. Yeah. Because I never saw it as a kid, and it's yeah, a great yeah. cast, and I, I, yeah. I like the idea. But I watched it and for the first time, and I was like, yeah, it's just not doing it for Some me. Some movies you just got to get early. But I could see if I was a kid and I watched that at a certain time, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is yeah. great. But even those old movies, I was never somebody that could rewatch a movie a million times. As a kid, I could. I can't now because I don't have the time to. But as a kid, I would. You know. uh, I just, I'm like, I know every, I never, every. I, I, I rented Tango and Cash. I watched it six times before <laughs> I had to bring, to bring it back. <laughs> that's And that's not a good movie. Tango and Cash. Yeah. I, I don't even know that one. Ah, oh, Sly Stallone and I think it was Kurt Russell. Uh, yes. <laughs> Those are a couple of hunks right there. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I, the, the movie I watched all the time was uh, Back to the Future, which I mentioned I already. I watched that a lot too. And, uh, and Backdraft. <laughs> Another Kurt Russell. <laughs> that's. Backdraft. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, I watched that in the theater, and not since. But um, I watched it. That that was a, I went. To, I had a friend that would sleep over on the weekends a lot, yeah. and uh, we would go to Blockbuster. It was it was that time we would just go to Blockbuster. You know, we're we're having a sleepover, and I think every weekend we would just rent <laughs> Backdraft. Yeah. Like we never bought it; we just rented it every week. Uh-huh. Can you give me like a short summary of Backdraft? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Backdraft takes place in Chicago. Um, it's it's with uh, Billy Baldwin's in it. All right, Alex, one of Alex's brothers, 
Um, the murderer? Yeah, nah. it, it, but the, the, his brother. He didn't murder Also, anybody. 30 Rock was good. 30 Rock. Yeah, 30 Rock was great. Um, but murder. basically, basically, it, it's about a, a fire department in Chicago. These two kids uh, watch their father, who was a fireman, perishes <laughs> in, in a... I don't know why I said... That seems... Uh, Softer. Yeah. He, he died in a, in a, in a fire. Um, kids grow up to be fire, fire department, uh, you know. Firefighters? <laughs> Firefighters. <laughs> I'm not good with explaining fire stuff on the stop. Fire employees. Um, and, uh, and, and there's a thing going on in there where somebody's starting fires. And, and there's a thing called backdraft where you would open the door. I, I realize I don't really understand the movie. <laughs> but you would open the door and you would hear... <sighs> And and a backdraft would and and the the backdraft it would it, would, it, it burnt and crispened half the company. <laughs> you know somebody doesn't know what the hell they're talking about when they say the same word over and again. He said backdraft <laughs> it's seventy five <funny>. times. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I was telling this to a comic last night about my favorite podcast, and we were hanging out at the bar, and he was like, "Oh, what is it?" And I started explaining it. And then the bartender was also like, oh, I'm looking. And I just started explaining it. And midway through, I'm like, I don't know how to explain this. And I started sweating and doing the same thing. I'm like, well, yeah. it makes me cry sometimes. And then I mentioned a podcast that it was like part of. I Because they're. Uh, I think he's doing it again. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's, he's doing he is. it again. But it Leaving it vague. The podcast I mentioned, the company that this podcast is on. This guy was in that podcast. Not the specific podcast, but in that group. Really? All right, done. Done. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any of that. That was you tough. You said podcast a lot. Backdraft. You said backdraft a lot. Sometimes yeah. on the podcast, you'll see Brendan remember he's on a podcast. <laughs> like, like as you ask him the question, he's did. like, okay, now I'm going to get into it. I'm going to describe this perfect I just, entity. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't like being in this power chair. It's it too reminds much me of like you ever try to make eye contact with someone and it's all you can think about once you start trying to make eye contact mm -hmm. with them. No, a lot I of times I make great eye contact so with like, people. Sometimes like this always happens to me when I'm in like an interview <laughs> no. or something like that where I start talking to the person. I'm yeah. like I should make eye contact. Right. And yeah, then I yeah. start yeah. thinking about it, and then they're asking me a question. I'm like I haven't been listening. I've just been looking into their eyes. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I guess you're right about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was once told once somebody said uh, they didn't trust me because I didn't look I didn't look people in their eyes and then I like but then I'm, every time I saw that person I was always like what's going on yeah it's not, like, exactly I, I, I definitely overdid it yeah yeah you could be too much with that yeah. but you you want to have the right amount of eye contact yeah usually I think usually when you're not thinking about it too much yeah. you're doing the right amount it should just be like you're looking at them you kind of look away and then you mm -hmm. look back but you're like. Consistent it should with be natural. It should be something you think. Now it's going to be that, the toughest podcast in the world now. Now that you're, you've said this, I'm like, I've been staring into your eyes. Where yeah. normally I, 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 I go off to the right. It reminds me of like that dating thing that uh, those, those, those wizards that created a book. Oh, the uh, the guy with the big top hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like like everything is so calculated. Pickup artist. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. was his name? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like. Fuck, uh, God. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. Rex, yeah. Rex Steele. <laughs> Frankie Bone Zone. I don't know what. He was, was like. like <laughs> one, it was like a one word name, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, it was it ridiculous. Matter. And he just treated women like shit. Yeah. It was a negging guy, right? Negging. You have to, to neg them. Negging. Yeah. But I, I remember I met a guy and, uh, and you know, he was a little. You could tell he probably had problems with women. And, uh, and he started explaining, like, this guy's whole theory. And, like, I knew he was talking about this guy. Yeah. What the hell was his name? Ghost or something like that. It was one uh, word. Like, yeah. He started with a C. Um, but he had, like, he had some of the, like, peacocking is one of the Pe things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy was talking about, like, like how to approach a woman, and, uh, a, a, woman <laughs> a lady, and what to do. And it's, it's almost like you are thinking way too much about this that you're, gonna, you're not going to land the plane here. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Between the shiny hat and the yeah, I know it's funny because it's tell like tell them that they have terrible elbows or something. You have to like you have to you tell them what's them. wrong with them. Yeah, as you, you look like a slob. <laughs> you come up Ridiculous. to them in a top hat and you go, "You look like you look not that. You good look right like now. a fool." Yeah, it's it's just like so. All these things are so nuanced. Mm -hmm. Like wearing a hat, like that guy wearing a top hat. It's like he's probably seven feet tall, and like mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what he does. Right. The idea of getting someone to look at you because you're doing something makes sense. And then, like, they look at you, and then you say something like, 
uh, confident. <laughs> like, yeah. That's really, yeah. I don't know. There's not much to, more to it. Mystery? Mystery. Is that his name? That was Mystery his name. Is yeah. definitely his name. Mystery. Er- Eric Von Markovic, <coughs> otherwise known as Mystery. Imagine meeting that guy. Yeah. That guy can't. I, you would come home with him. <laughs> yeah, you have no choice there. Oh, yeah. Especially Brendan. <laughs> yeah. You, you're you said very, something terrible you're very to me. easily like, influenced. Oh, God. You know what? I am. <laughs> no, you're one of the most. Because sometimes, like, you'll, I'll be like, hey, do you want to do something? And you'll be like, mm, I don't know. And then if I ask you twice, you'll say yes. Because you're very convincing. And I feel terrible saying no to you. I'm also a good salesperson. That's true. I don't think you're a great salesperson. <laughs> are, you, are you very susceptible to the, come on? Yeah, it's all oh. takes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're really. Come on. Come on. Yeah. But also, if I'm really if I'm really not feeling it, I'll be honest and be like, eh, yeah, just yeah, yeah. not tonight. But the thing is, if I do that, it is a hundred percent no go. When you do that, it's like a seventy. Maybe you can be coerced I can be out of your hole. I could always be swayed. The other thing is, you live on Main Street. Yeah, and people just come to me. Yeah, so if it's like I'm next door to you, and you're like, I really want to stay in, it's like I'm next door. You're like, I'll yeah. come down. Are oh, you live mm-hmm. close by him? Uh, I'm in Seaford now. I'm moving over to oh. Freeport soon. Yeah, but you show up once in a while. Um, yeah. It's a nice surprise when you show up because you're like, I'm at Flux. Well, we go to Flux every Sunday. So if you're there in the yeah. morning, you let me know. I will. That's the coffee shop across the street and then down closer to the tracks from you? Yeah. But they don't do food there, huh? They do a little They do a little, little, little pastry. A little pastry? pastry? A little uh, egg sandwich here Oh, and they there. do? Yeah. Okay. Just a couple of things. A lot of stuff. Yeah, because you stopped in there a couple weeks ago and- yeah, but just for coffee. It, it might have been all done. I, th- I feel like yeah. that place sells stuff out. Like, they get whatever they get in the morning, okay. and then it, whatever's gone is gone. I'm very grateful for them to be there. Yeah. I think they're a good coffee shop. There are a couple things that bother me. The pretentiousness? Yes. Like, okay, so there's something there. I don't Isn't know if that they what's still built in this. a coffee shop? I don't know if they still do this, but if you ask for syrup in an iced coffee, they will not give it to you. Syrup? Like vanilla. Like I want a vanilla iced coffee. Uh Uh-huh. And I'm not saying I do this all the time. It's not something I do often. But, like, I always find it frustrating for them to be like, no, you cannot have that. They just just tell you that flat out? They say no. (laughs) Like it goes against their principle of what they think coffee should be? Yeah. So they have the syrups. So what do the syrups go? Maybe they don't have the syrups. Yeah, no. They have the syrups. They do. And, like, it's weird because, like, they've compromised on other things yeah, yeah so they have like a, this like uh you know like the 32 ounce chinese food container yeah uh that you can get a coffee and it's called like the big ass coffee Whoa! oh oh oh, oh yeah is, i've seen those which people. once again i'm with them like 90 percent <clears throat> of the way there's just like a couple of things where i'm like uh, it's like uh, it's frustrating when it's like i get what you're saying yeah i get that you don't want to do this but like can like this is just what i want today mm. i don't know yeah i like coffee too yeah, they can be pretentious it. about it. Right. I'm afraid. Today I want something a little bit sweeter. Yeah, I'm afraid with their coffee, like what to order, because I'm I'm mostly a tea guy, you know. And their coffees, it seems like uh, I don't know what to get here. But um, even when I order a tea, I mean, 15 minutes, they let it steep. Mm. Yeah. But I, I uh, <laughs> a funny story there. I I did. I when that guy moved to Farmingdale, I met him. And um, and he was saying he's going to open the coffee shop. I'm like, oh. And then it's like this great Long Island coffee shop that everybody seems to enjoy. And and I like it too. But um, I did an open mic there once. And <laughs> and, uh, and that was fun. And then he started doing like a poetry night. And I, I went over there and I wrote a poem. One of your famous <clears throat> yeah. childlike poems. Ryman, Brendan Ryan up yeah. there. And... Uh, so I, I did the, the first poetry night. I went there and I rhymed something. I did a poem. And there was like maybe two other people there or maybe one other person. And it was still going on. So the owner was like, do you want to just do like some comedy? Yeah. And I was like, all right. Yeah. So I'm just doing comedy for like this this one lady that came to like do po- poems. And uh, she got up in the middle. And you know my comedy. There's nothing racy yeah. or anything. But she got up in the middle and, and said, you know, I'm not. This is not cool that he's doing stand up here when this is a poetry night. But like it would be, she'd rather just silence. She'd that's, rather that's what it would be if you weren't yeah, doing that. Yeah, nobody. It was done. It was like, all right, well, we can go home. And <laughs> yeah. and uh, she made a, like a complaint, and they never did poetry night again. So I ruined poetry night over there. 
Well, she ruined poetry. She did. Ridiculous. She did. Yeah. You're right. She ruined poetry. Yeah. Right. It'd be funny. Like I would be like, just say it's a poem. Yeah. yeah. Just make believe. Poem. Just make believe it's a poem. It is a poem. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I didn't, I could talk it in a poem. Because po- people, you know, play fast and loose with the definition of poem. Just this is a I poem. I feel like you're talking to me when when you say that. Yeah. No, you do. You are like the most literal version of a poem that there possibly is. <laughs> You're like Dr. Seuss. He is Dr. Seuss oh, style yeah. poem. Yeah. Well, he's a big influence on me. <laughs> That's very obvious. Him and Shel Silverstein. So I, 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 I yes, just sir. started drinking coffee recently. Really? Oh. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I, I like it, but I was just, I was... And um, I love how we I? both like, whoa, really? <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's fun. Really it's little fun caffeine. Someone, huh? well, I think it's fun when someone starts drinking coffee. Yeah, later I always on. thought it was like a nice romantic thing. I don't drink alcohol, and I always wanted something that I can sit somewhere and drink. I can go somewhere and, and order a drink and sit there for a little you bit. Think. So a bar, uh, I'm not, I'm never going to do that. But a coffee shop, I like the idea of going to sit in a coffee shop, which I also haven't done much. Usually, my, the coffee I've been drinking is to go. But I like that I now can appreciate coffee and I can sit in a coffee so- shop if I want to. Mm-hmm. I like that, you know. But I went to Jersey Shore over the weekend. I was walking down the boardwalk at Wildwood and they had a Starbucks there. And they were like, yeah, we're closing. You know, it's the last day. It was, I was there for like the last day of mm-hmm. anything being open. Um, but they gave me uh, a coffee and it was, uh, I don't know what size it was. Monique ordered it. Venti? And, yeah, I don't know. But it, there was like this much not. Like it was like this much before it was full. It was not. It was not full. It was like empty. Oh yeah. And I just I didn't say anything because I I felt like they're closing. They're all out of a job. But I'm disappointed <laughs> in myself because oh, you, it was you, closing for good. Yeah. Well, for oh. the season. They're oh. gonna transfer all of them. Yeah. May, well, maybe. Yeah. You're right. There's probably a lot of other locations mm-hmm. in the area, but it just seemed like I I, I don't know. Am I, I gonna complain? I no felt knowledge. Yeah. I felt like I it was silly to complain about the. But I, I am paying for. I ordered the size that you set. This mm-hmm. is the size that you set, and then fill it to that point. If you if you put this much into it, now you've just given me the size that's under it. Uh, do I have the right to complain about that? And am I am I am I going to be a dick if I'm like, can you actually fill this up all the way? It feels like it feels like a ridiculous thing to say, but also that's why I ordered the size that I want. This is a thing that you do: is you don't complain in person. You wait till you're on your next podcast and you air your grievances. I guess so. That's what I we do. I think it would have been a better story if I just said it. No, if just you told said the it. story. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Just yeah. to get her reaction. Yeah. So Christine and I met at Starbucks working ten years ago. That's right. Yeah, you oh, guys really? met at a Starbucks or like nine years ago. Yeah, that's, so mm-hmm. I worked at Starbucks for two years. She worked there even longer than me. Um, I think a hundred percent. You should always say something to the guy at Starbucks. Yeah. Because there's so many. So. I mean, working at the Apple store, working at Starbucks with customer service, if you just go, hey, like, do you mind just, like, fixing this? or In a nice a way. Better, yeah. right. who, no one cares ever. Like, right. I, I think it's something that I also feel sensitive to because, like, I don't ever want to be the that guy. But all I, I'd say especially at Starbucks because, like, they – the only thing they care about is the volume that they're doing. They don't care anything about the price. They don't care anything about that. Right. I think, like, if you go, like – if you're like, if you just say, say something self aware, you're good. I think with any yeah. customer service stuff, I think if you just go like, hey, I don't want to be this guy. This is not something I would typically do. Right. Hands up. Them, Hands up tw- is a big 20, move. 25 minutes of preface. Shaking yeah. your head like, yeah, I don't want to do it. Have, I think they have a bigger problem with the 25 minutes of preface. They'd be like, just get to the fucking point. No, what I know. That's, yeah. like, <laughs> that's like someone comes in to Apple, they go, I have a quick question. Mm. Yeah. It's like, it's like so my son, my son was born yeah. 16 <laughs> yeah. years ago. <laughs> Uh, and we got him an iPhone for the day he was born, mm-hmm. and and it's just like twenty six yeah. minutes of that. But uh, but I feel like like Monique is a uh, coffee. You know, she likes her coffee, and she likes the amount of coffee, and she mm-hmm. would like to have more coffee, but she feels like she can't have more coffee. She don't get jittery. No, and I don't think so. Not Ooh, really. I get but, jittery. But I feel like um, <laughs> I'm buzzing. <laughs> but like for her, like she orders a specific amount of coffee because that's how much she needs, and like she would like that more, but she can't. So. She got the same amount of coffee that I did. Right. So I don't really care that much. I don't like coffee enough to be like, I need every drop of that coffee. I'm not the coffee yeah. fiend. But there are people who take their coffee very seriously. Oh, it's like, God. I need this exact amount of coffee to get through my day. Some people even have mugs where it says more coffee on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or don't talk to me before I had my coffee. There's yeah. a lot of those people out there. But what drink did you get? Uh, oat milk latte. So the the one thing I would mention is that 
uh, when you when it's not filled up all the way, it's just milk. You got all the coffee. Yeah. So you have the same amount of coffee, but I just th- less it's milk. Just less foam on, on it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, with a latte, it's not as bad. With an iced coffee, it's like, why are you not filling this up all the way? Right. Because mm-hmm. the same amount of caffeine you got. Yeah. And I don't really necessarily like the foam anyway, so I guess I'd really miss out on anything. Yeah. Uh, um, not trying to not trying to say anything other than uh, no, I don't, I don't, I think you know, I'm just, I, I'm good, to, I'm happy to know that because if I, I, I would, I probably wouldn't say anything if I, if I know like I'm getting the same amount of drink and I'm just, not, I don't really need the foam like I said. So the other big Starbucks say anything. scam, a grande and a venti hot drink both have two shots of espresso. Wait, 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 wait. Grande, Even if you don't ask? So a grande and a venti have the same amount of espresso, just more milk. Well, that's just a... And more how, syrup. That's just how much... That, that, then that's a taste preference. So if it's going to taste different... So it's not like you're getting the same thing. If wait, you're wait, somebody, we're if talking you're somebody, about different sizes here. Yeah, no no one... Like, like there's a lot of people that don't realize this. So this, like, see, go, this is, I need this is more, why we got a yo-yo slash barista. I know. I, I need more coffee, so I'm going to get a venti latte. Right. So we put more milk in the same coffee. And that's it. So those are the people who need a certain amount of caffeine in them. But th- if you're talking about, I like the taste of something, it's not ta- it doesn't taste the same because one has more milk yeah, in it. Yeah, no, one would just have more milk in it. Right. So you might have a preference to, you know, that. Yeah, grande is yeah. typically the uh, the size you want to get. Because hmm. venti's BS, nine out of ten times. Um, grande is the medium. Yeah. Okay. Can we uh can we see you yo yo a little bit before we wrap things I up? I would love to see that. See that, me yo yo. Yeah, is there room f- for you to yo yo over there? You think? Yeah, hundred percent. All right, and then Give us a and then can, trick. and then maybe you can maybe Teach I can me. try it. Teach us. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm gonna say. I, I, I think I think that we should do a yo yo challenge. I'm down. I think okay. that we should take. I'll get you guys. I'll both get you guys yo yos. These right. hundred twenty dollar oranges. Mm-hmm. Both your your yo yos? Yeah, I'll get you both one. I'm listening. Okay, <laughs> and we'll meet back. We'll 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 make a date, maybe mm-hmm. in a month, something like that, and we're gonna see what your progress is like. Okay, I would be, in, and is very it, much into that the progress for this year? You're <clears throat> just getting it back up because it's a challenge to get it back up. I'm well, serious. Well, I, I mean, like I think that you guys that's will be able question. to get it back up within the next day. <clears throat> like I think that's something that you can do. I want to see what tricks you can learn. I'll send you a link. I think I used to always would have a yo-yo on me somewhere, but I don't. I don't know if I have one right now. Like, you know, yeah. a simple one. Yeah. I mean, I will. I'll give you this one. You can keep this. Uh, this is Ryan's yo-yo now. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. I'm. That's. I'm very happy about that. That's. That's incredibly uh, kind. Oh. Right so. I have, I look at that. There Com- we go. You could fit that in the cup of his yeah. yo-yo. You certainly can. That's a Duncan Imperial right there. A T. <laughs> it is right off the bat. It's a Duncan that's Imperial. A, that's, that's. Now. You supposed you do this right? You don't you don't use the hoop, right? Yes, yeah, so you have to make a slip knot. So yeah. like you you pull the so you pull the string through that hoop. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so he's going to be at an advantage because he knows how to throw. Yeah. Well, so he's getting his yo-yo right now to f- learn. Yeah. Well, let me see. Look at that. Yeah. So he's already. It goes up, and it goes. So he's going to have a much easier time throwing it down. Yeah, but here's the thing. But, but you not, have more tenacity. But now I can't I get have it to, tenac- I can't No right. offense to Ryan, but you have, I have more, more tenacity. You have more tenacity. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this one, I'm having trouble getting this one sleep. This one's bouncing right up. Yeah, because yeah. that one's probably tied around the bottom of the axle. Yeah. I bet. Does it have a came? Wind, I, wind I, it all the way do down. It. Okay. Is it tied? Um, like a knot down there? No. No, it's just, okay, on, the, yeah. it's just on the thing. It might have like an axle knot in it. Because, like, when we throw you got this an guy... Knot in it. No, I don't. Let me see you throw that guy. <laughs> is, that, is that the correct way to say it? Throw it? Yeah, it's a throw. Look at him go. All right, so this one will sleep for a long time. Um, and yeah. then to get it back up... Bad like boy's that. taking a nap. Uh. So, Or th- there's a million different ways to get it back. A but million? Like, Did you mean to bounce it off your knee like that? No. Cause I thought that was a part of the trick. It didn't interrupt him. Well, I want to do it over there. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna set up. Over all right, there. let's let's set it up. Yeah. Let's do, do I it. talk to Brendan for a second before you're all set up? Of course. Yeah, so, yeah you guys chit chat. So let me. Let, let, we'll talk about the. We'll talk Ooh. about the. Um, so the winner, the 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 winner will get a fun prize that we'll figure out for you. Okay, two. can't wait. Um, maybe uh, 
Maybe we'll make a custom adult babies yo-yo. That like, would we'll, be we'll, like we'll fun, take one huh? of these. The winner will get a uh, custom adult babies yo-yo. Um, now I I I think what it would be is I'm I'm gonna send you guys like ten tricks. Okay. Just ten, nothing too crazy. Um, and we'll come back in a month or a month and a half whenever we find the date is, mm-hmm. and we'll see who is better. We'll see who can do it. those tricks. Nothing nothing too crazy. All all I think within reason. I'm giving you a a yo-yo that is more than uh more than good for it. This is the Cadillac of yo-yos. Yeah. It, more like uh the Hummer. The Hummer of Because it's really stupid. Yeah. It's really right. big and You're stupid. You're right. That that makes sense. That makes sense. It's the Hummer of yo-yos. It's it's more like the Hummer of yo-yos. So what we'll do is we'll do those 10 tricks. We'll see who can complete more of them. We'll see who completes them better. And then the winner gets get to get compete on the world championship yo-yo the, the the winner will get a custom adult babies orange <sighs> oh we'll i love la- that we'll get it laser engraved with your name oh this is fun this is fun that says the winner of the adult babies yo-yo contest i'll make a custom logo for it or i'll take the adult babies logo and turn mm-hmm. it into an engraving hey listen i trust you i trust your process give me the mic up there oh good all right cool take your own headphones so now I'm now I'm going to the uh, yo zone. Go go to the yo zone. I don't like I don't like talking in real life anymore. I like having the headphones on. Yeah, I know. Once 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 you take the headphones off, it's like what's even the point? It's like when you get off of a treadmill yeah. and you're like, feel like you're going fast, but you're not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So All right. I'm going over there and doing a few tricks. Yeah. Head to the head to the. Do you need how are you gonna get through here? I don't know. Yeah. Take Oh, I was holding it in place. I was holding him down. Am I good to go? Um, yeah. So, uh, Put the way it dings. I'll show you. I'll show you some of the the tricks I've made up. Right. So this trick right here that I'm doing has this been. This is something that you did yourself. Yeah, it's been in, I think, multiple world champions routines, or at least, at least it's been in the contest twice. This is like a super popular trick. What is that? I made this that, trick up probably ooh, 15 years ago. That thing where it's ago. bouncing like that? Because you're doing a lot of stuff. What's, what is one trick? Is, so is like, um, I guess, I guess that would be a combo, right? It's a series of. So like an idea of a trick, this is like, a, this is called ooh. the Eli hop. Right? Shut up. Yeah, this is just like the typical Eli hop. It's just a regular hop. I think a guy named Eli made it up. And then, uh, <laughs> Eli hop. How did it come up the name? Um, <laughs> What's the name of your trick? I don't think it doesn't have a name. Oh, it's, I'd be naming my tricks all day long. Yeah, I know. But it, it, it's like become one of the most popular tricks in competitive yo-yoing over time. That you invented. Yeah, exactly. And and like that's the fun of it. That like I started so long ago that like some of the tricks that I've made up have like stuck for a while pioneer he's um, a pioneer in the yo-yo game in the art of yo-yo yeah but like when i when i got second place at the world yo-yo contest all the tricks i had been doing for the most part i've been doing for like 10 years at that point so it's like it was old hat almost like it, it it's really the amount of time i had spent doing a lot of this stuff now this is not like something you you age out of so i mean you're still not good really. the the tricks have <laughs> gotten a lot more so like i think like after like the world contest, the next year I went to China uh, for the next world yo-yo contest, and like I what? did okay. I was somewhere in the middle, um, but then I was like, I just can't keep doing. It. Like I, I I can't keep up at the number one top level. And then since then, there have been a couple of people. There's one guy, Mir Kim, who's the current world champion. He's like unbelievable. Like it's just like when I look at it, I'm like I cannot do so much of that stuff. I'm mesmerized by this. Are you not? Just watching that thing? Do you ever want to like walk down the street and do that little pop move where it looks like it's gonna go in their face? <laughs> yeah, I mean a lot of like times that? I'm I'm good at like getting it really close to someone's face. Yeah, I, I you ever miss? Um the only times I've ever really hurt someone with a yo yo is like one time I had a yo yo in like a in a in a plastic bag, me and Christine were shopping, and then I hit her over the head with it, not remembering that there was a yo-yo in the bag. Yeah. So I think that hurt. Uh, Why were you mostly, hitting her with a plastic? It's mostly bag? been at her expense, to be yeah. honest. All right. 
but so can uh, I can I try that one now? Yeah. So I think you both should try it out. Yeah, I want to try here it out too. to see where we at where where we are at. Because and that'll I, be fun to look back. You what know, I'm going right? to show you both right now is the way to get it up really quickly. Oh, please right? tell us. We're getting so, older. So I'm not going to like th like I'll, you can throw whatever, but once it's spinning, you either have to bring the yo-yo here, pinch and pull up, uh -huh. or Brendan, when you drop it like this, I won't drop it. I it's going to be spinning the other way, so you just have to do it the other way. But what happens is you'll see when you look over it that like uh, it starts wrapping around the bearing. Eventually, it slows down. Then you pull back, and that's when it comes back. All right, I'm already lost, but you know I, I'll figure it out. But uh, here you go. Yeah. And then we'll see where you guys are at in a month. Let me just take this. Yeah, this, this will be a this. fun before yeah, and after. Yes. All right. Just um, squeeze through. Squeeze. Yeah, it's, Adult Baby Studios is not that big. No. Well, we hope oh, to get a bigger one soon. Yeah, we're we're trying to get a, a bigger yo-yo after this. This is exciting. <laughs> yeah, I would, yeah, this feels good. This feels like good. two saucers. This feels the right. watermelon. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Look at this guy. Look at it go. So very, very close. You very, did it the opposite close. way, and I think you got a knot, but very close. I got a knot? You better not say that again. Remember? Adam Sandler? <laughs> you never, did you love it like uh, the Adam Sandler? Um, uh, so goat? now, if yeah. you basically, if you, if you take it again and you throw it again, it might just come back up when you pull it I up think now it's, that it has a knot. I think it's the knot's pretty, pretty, it's pretty knotted. You know, it's, it's pretty knotted, for sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can fix it for you if you yeah. want. I, I'm going to be able to here. beat this guy in my sleep. <laughs> you think I oh, I do think that. So, Ryan, what you did, uh, you just did it the opposite I way. I went the wrong way. But you. Oh, wait, wait. What way do you have to go? Ah, but you already yeah. had the concept down. He's quick. Yeah. I never see you do something. You haven't like seen me yet. Just wait till I get up there. Wait, wait till you see me throw that bad boy. I never, yeah. That two-toned... Yo yo. So this is what I was I talking about, where like you unwind the string, yeah, and then you pull it over, and that's like how uh -huh. even on a fixed axle it can continue to spin. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Is it not need like it's it doesn't matter that it's all wonky in there? No, you can you can still throw it like that. Okay, you can still throw it like that. You can still throw. You it can like too. That. You're a quick learner. You're a quick learner. He's, he's, Brendan could not throw it. Like I, this. I hear. I, I know passive aggressive when I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you've never been passive aggressive. Never. Well, you've never been aggressive. No, and I've never been passive. Oh, it's his yo yo now. So I'm going to go under or over? Other way. Yes. Oh, there he goes. So you're, you're doing it right. Now just pinch while you're Ooh. pulling it up with yeah. your other hand. Pinch. Now when you're winding it, just go over your finger once and uh -huh. then next to your finger after that. So that's why I had that like little thing there. Yeah, because you it just keeps spinning. Yeah, because of the bearing. Of We're the learning bearing. a lot today. Huh? We're learning a this lot of be, things today. This we will are. be uh, YouTube only uh, content. Yeah, that's podcast. fine. Yeah, this is perfect. Huh? Let's see what maybe got. one more shot and it's going to be your, your turn. All right. All right, get up. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Now I think it's spinning the opposite way. So if you go that way, the way that you were originally going, it'll be good. But make sure you pinch with your uh, right hand when you're doing pinch. this. What do you mean? I guess I don't know what you, maybe what so you mean by pinch. So like uh, once it's on the string, you pinch with your right hand. Pinch what? You pinch the string okay, with lied. your right hand. One more hand. time. You pinch the string. With your with, right hand. With my right, with the the hand that the yo-yo is. With your non-throw hand. That's my left hand. Exactly. So I pinch. Good. Now you're going forward. So I'm gonna go back behind. Yep. And now pinch with that other hand. You're so close. You just gotta pinch while it's coming down, so it starts winding around the bearing. Hmm. I think one more throw and you'll get it. All right, let's see one more throw. So it's like you're doing the right thing, but you got to keep it pinched first. So it, like, 
So when it comes down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this. All right, but I want you. To Let try. me try. Yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna get it. I have faith in you, Brendan. This is gonna be my new. I, I mean, like to be honest, I would be excited to see Brendan win just because he's the underdog. Why is he the underdog? <laughs> you're typically an, an underdog. Which finger do I use? Whatever one you want to throw with. Middle. Middle. It's, it's Middle. Get you mic'd up here too. Get him mic'd up. Brendan, mic'd up. So do I do like like a like a? Yeah, exactly. Just make sure that the string is not. So it's like, if you try to roll it off your hand right now, is it comfortable or uncomfortable to just roll it off? Just that same way, because you want to just make sure the orientation is right. Oops, I un I I undid the whole thing. I like I like teaching people from over here, because I could show you like much more easily. Yeah. But I like to see what you think. Um. So you see how the string is winding up a lot? Huh? <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna give it a throw. And then Spin I'm going to pinch. This, turn the yo-yo around in your hand one time. Just 180. Like this? Yes. Now it will work better. You have to wind right. it right, though. That wasn't it? No. I have to wind it better? So when you're winding it? Yeah. So take your finger uh -huh. and roll the, uh, roll the string over your finger and then around the yo-yo. Okay. Now, Keep that finger in there, but keep winding it next to it. Yeah. Tight? Am I winding it tight? It doesn't have to be super tight. Whatever your preference is. I like it loose. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And now... Uh, Flip it? Or no? You might have to... Depending... Uh, just put it out in your palm. No, you're good. You're good. All right. So I'm going to do this. Yep. And then, and then once it's down there, I pinch the little thing. Yes. Yeah, so you get the, the yo-yo on the string. Then you pinch with your left hand and you. When do I pinch? When it hits the ground? You pinch while it is on that, it's called a trapeze. When it's like on the string. So get it on when the string wrap... first. Get it on the you, string and, and then You're stop. pinching it and then pull it. Like you just pinch and pull. Yeah. So like throw it down. All right, now get it. You have to get it on the front, so not from your belly button, but like the other way. Wait. <laughs> you hear that? It's whistling. Yeah. <laughs> it's whistling Dixie. So you can see just from here, you can see which direction it's going and which way it needs to go. When I'm paying close attention, yeah. Yeah, that's. I feel like that alone is is more impressive than a <laughs> yeah a Rubik's that... cube. <laughs> <laughs> the thing, I I mean, like I don't want to. There was this one time, like the Rubik's Cube people, they're good people. They're, they're good people. <laughs> they're good people. Trump? Uh, the Rubik's Cube people, they're good people. I don't they're think they're good people. people. Have, you ever, have you ever worked on a Trump, like quietly, be, like in yeah, your own home? Have, and you never got anywhere with it? Um, In my head, I do. It seems so easy to do, and I can't do it, Trump. Yeah, I, Everybody I like knows it. You know it. He knows it. We all know it. That's better than my Trump. I feel like I uh, got to go... Like, ah, it's it's the biggest, it's the best. It's like, the best. No, I that's, can't do it. I'm doing chick. That's what he's that's saying. That's the orange yo-yo. Bigger chick. than any yo-yo I've ever seen. Fat. Yeah. You want it to go up, it'll go down. You want it to go down, it'll go up. Yeah. I mean, like, he just kind of says, like, every angle of a certain thing. Yeah, so it's not so much the content of what he's saying that I can't get down. Yeah. It's, I, it's the voice. I know, that's the frustrating part. It's easy to do an impression of someone's personality, but not their voice. I can't get this thing to sleep. Is it gonna? Is it gonna happen? Let me see if let I me, can. Let me see if yeah. Uh. He's yeah, got something understand. going yet. Oh, what? Well, you had it. Like that you, was it. Well, you had it spinning for longer than you have. Yeah, but it's not coming up to me. It's not saying, Brendan, I want to sit and dine with you. Yeah, it will soon. <laughs> What color do you want, Brendan? Orange, uh, silver, or blue? orange? I'm excited about my new yo-yo. Me too. I mean, that's I mean that's that's no cheap gift. 
Listen, to be on the adult babies is quite an honor. <laughs> that's my. That's you, his, sorry. You're breaking my. You're ruining his yo yo. <laughs> sorry. That was yeah, the I first time. By the way, you did that too. I did, but it's mine. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you're, very, that I, you're very I right. I can do that if I want. What could you put this green screen as? I don't know. I'm going to th- worry about that later. But I wanted it to be something not. Yeah. You should. That's, you know, just a white wall. You yeah. should do uh, Irish highways. Irish highways? Yeah. That are getting like, funded by uh, oh, Apple now. Definitely. Oh, that's good. <laughs> all right. All right. Irish infrastructure. I flip. It goes down. It's trapeze. And then I come, pinch. Come here for a second. Step over that thing. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So when the, when it's like this, it's good. Mm-hmm. If it's like this, you'll see. It oh, like it's off. pulling my finger. Yeah. So when so, you flip it around and it just easily rolls off. Yeah. It feels like that both ways. I honestly I, um, don't see the difference. So you are the other dog here at this point. <laughs> see I see you sweating off. over there, though. You look nervous. So when, this, <laughs> when this tries to roll off. It's like going backwards. Oh, that way. Okay. Yeah. And when I do it this way, okay, yeah, it I got right you. Off. I, got you, got you. I mean, it, it's so, just physics. You, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but you know, from over there, it's like I, you know, it's, there's a lot going on here. So I roll it off, and then like this, and then in some way I'm gonna pinch it. We got you got a so you got a what'd you call it? Cradle. Trapeze. Yeah, trapeze, trapeze at first. So. You'll get it on here, and then you pinch, and you see how that will like roll up. Wait, wait, I'm pinching a different way. Yes, yeah, so you gotta pinch. Your with pinch, your left hand, right? And you see how when you pinch. Oh wait a second. Yeah, how are you pinching? Because I'm just pinching like the, the string like this and trying to go up. So you so you pinch. Just pinch you just hold you it. pinch here. It. This is a good way to actually learn, because um, when you're so, on this, you'll see it will literally start rolling that way when you do it the right way like wait so what i'm sorry what hand is this this is your throw hand okay this is the hand you're throwing with you get it on the string you pinch with the other hand and you'll see it starts to roll up kind of like this and, you just pinch it and, you let, you and then the and then like once you're close to the yo-yo that's when you let go it'll come back as long as it doesn't spin okay this is now what do i do so I think it's spinning the opposite way now. So come from your belly button to the yo-yo. Get it on the string. Check. Without touching it, because then it's going to stop spinning. <laughs> but <laughs> that's... You're going you're gonna to have a good Dude, time. I'm going to have to take off a I'm couple really, days. I'm really <laughs> excited to see where you guys come in a month. All right. So let's get... let's Before we start introducing tricks to this, let's get... You know, let's Basics. confirm that we both can get it back up. And then we'll, and then we'll get the contest stuff. Yeah, after the podcast, I'll show you. I'll I'll give you a better tutorial, really quick. All right. All right. So you'll both be able. I'm to excited. Get it. This yeah. is gonna be fun. All right. All right. Well, I think that's. Uh, yeah. That Guys, if pod? you made it this far. Yeah. You're not <laughs> if you told, made it, not, I don't yeah, even know. Yeah. Well, you're not on camera. You got the mic there, but. Yeah. Oh. Noon. All right. If you made it this far, Brian. Thanks so much for tuning in. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. Have All a right. good night, everybody. All right. Bye. <laughs>